Ist so. My phone died, so I'm filming on my iPad. Ugh, pimples. <laughs> um, anyways, let me show you how messy my room is. Who let this happen, bruh? Actually, it's not that bad, but I do need to still clean it. And I need to do laundry as well. Ugh, my God. Okay, I'm gonna clean it. I'm hungry. I'm gonna go eat lunch. I'm watching YouTube.
Are you sleeping? a gift from my friend i think you saw it in the earlier clip in the beginning of the vlog my friend grace stopped by to drop off a birthday gift this is what she got me isn't it so cute oh my gosh so it comes with a whisk and a whisk stand and the sieve sieve this is what it's called sieve matcha scoop scoop holder and the matcha bowl so i'm gonna make my Hi, matcha latte again because I still have some leftovers and I need to use it up. So let's go.
hours later. I'm definitely getting copyrighted. This edible cookie dough thing that I saw on TikTok. Make it with chickpea, peanut butter, chocolate chips, vanilla, maple syrup. I don't really have flour, so I'm just gonna grind up some oats and make oat flour. We'll see how this goes. <sighs> And make sure you thoroughly wash your chickpeas because they're kind of stinky. <laughs> I'm gonna put my flour in here. I'm gonna grind up the beans first. A tablespoon of maple syrup. Two tablespoons of vanilla. Three tablespoons of any sort of flour. And then one fourth cup of I mean, it looks like cookie dough. It's okay. It's not bad. I mean, it is 
like a healthy edible cookie dough recipe. I don't know if I recommend it, but if you want to try it, you can. I think in general, I don't really like raw cookie dough. I like the baked cookies. So maybe this isn't for me. It's okay though. Before I do, I just wanted to talk about what happened in Atlanta to the people watching this vlog or all my friends um, who are mostly Asian. So you probably already know what's going on and what happened. I'm not going to say much, but I'm scared. I'm scared for my mom's life. I'm scared. For my mom's friends' lives, I'm scared for my life, I'm scared for my friends' lives, I'm scared for my brother's life, I'm scared for my dad's life. It baffles me that they reported, the police officer reported that he was just having a bad day, because just go out and murder people just because you had a bad day people don't just do that and to say that it wasn't racially motivated is complete BS you know the fact that I'm already paranoid and scared as it is to go outside alone because I'm a woman, but now I have to be scared because I'm an Asian woman, it really sucks. It really sucks and I don't know. I kind of took the whole day to reflect and process this whole thing. And I, I don't think don't know. I don't mean to put in this sad kind of serious moment in the vlog, but I think it's important to be authentic in the way that I portray or show myself in my vlogs. And you know, for the most part, it's been a good day and I'm, you know, I'm still happy and joyful and thankful <sighs> but this is hard and a lot to a lot to process I'm gonna go to bed I'll see you tomorrow <laughs> The next day, I did a quick workout this morning, put on an outfit, did my makeup, had a conversation about what happened with my mom this morning. Not feeling any better about it, but I didn't have breakfast yet, so I'm gonna go do that and try and have a good day. I <laughs> uh, hope you have a good day as well but I'll see you when I'm having breakfast.
I just realized it's Friday tomorrow. I'm like, where did the week go? Why didn't I even do anything? <laughs> it's already over. I need to go to bed. I feel like I didn't do anything. I didn't really film today. See you tomorrow, I guess. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I love laying on the floor as my place of comfort. I feel like it's more comfortable than the bed sometimes. Am I insane? Maybe. That's okay. Mm.